And of course, there are plenty of rest stops along the way, so hopefully drivers will be able to stretch their legs and take some time out and don't get too stressed out on the road. Well, this is the time for Korean families to get together at their ancestral hometowns for traditional rites, catch up, and enjoy delicious dishes. Which does bring up a question. What about multicultural families? Our Kim jong Su went out to meet some of them to find out how they spend Chuseok. For the holiday season, the Manners Education Center, run by the city of Yongin, just south of Seoul, prepared a special event in collaboration with its multicultural family support center. Over 20 people from a variety of nations, including Vietnam, the Philippines, and Indonesia, accepted the invitation for one main reason. They want to better understand Korean culture and customs. Right now, a group of people from multicultural families has gathered here to learn how to make songpyeon, a traditional Korean food usually eaten during the Chuseok holiday. The students first make the dough using rice powder. Next comes the filling. Mung beans are first skinned and then put into a pot and simmered for 30 minutes. As the final step, the students put the filling into little pieces of dough that have been shaped into cups, and the cups are steamed for about 25 minutes under a blanket of pine needles. Having tasted their handmade songpyeon, the new chefs were eager to try making even more at home. I can't wait to make more songpyeon for my friends and family. I'm sure next time I will tell to my friends that um, we made some traditional talk, so I'm sure that they will really love it too. After tasting the holiday sweets, the students donned traditional Korean attire, or hanbok, and participated in a ceremony called chare, in which Koreans honor their ancestors. Meanwhile, the center's director made sure that the participants made the most out of the learning experience. The number of multicultural families in Korea continues to grow, but it's not easy for them to get hands-on experience in learning about Korea's rich culture and heritage. So that's why we decided to hold this event. According to the Ministry of Justice, the number of foreigners living in Korea broke the 2 million mark just a few months ago. And as of last year, there were more than 200 centers all over the country helping out multicultural families. Based on the success of today's event, you might say these families are learning the beauty of their adopted home, one Songpyeon at a time. Kim Jong-soo, Arirang News.